Hello, everybody. Yesterday was International Star Trek Day. Well, I'm not sure it was international. Anyway, it was Star Trek Day. So in the interest of that, in the spirit of Star Trek, I thought it would be interesting to show you examples of using mm hmm and showing you how to use rooms and using your video and also any kind of other image on top of that. Basically three elements. But let me explain this offline. One way to look at mm hmm is it is just spaces. So you have automatically there's going to be some kind of room and a room can be an image or it can be a video and it will go full screen. That's behind you that's your that's your background so this particular room sort of lends itself to adding your video this way there's no green screen effect that's just the full frame video but we've reduced the size and it fits in and gives the illusion that you know you're in this room and this guy's in a monitor you could put an image over here you could also make that image full screen or you could put some text then you have your video and you have some image or text that that you could add later now, you could also use a green screen effect or a silhouette effect so that you'd have the background here inside the monitor, or you could do something like this if you wanted to. And all of that is going to show up. Just you is going to be here in front and everything else is masked out using green screen. It looks better, but I'm actually using just the silhouette effect with no green screen. And as you'll see, when it's small or you're inside a monitor or doing some sort of sci-fi effect, it's okay. But you can use green screen and it will look even better. So if you did something like this, you can also throw in you know, a photograph, as I said, you can make that full screen. If you had a background like this, if this was your room, right, you have kind of a podium there, you could either use green screen or the silhouette effect to come up with this sort of illusion. And you could still, of course, have, you know, an image in there if you want. Another kind of image you could use is a masked image or an, an, an image with an alpha channel, which you could make in GIMP or in uh, Photoshop and their other applications. You can even make it in Keynote and PowerPoint, although you're a little bit limited. So here we have the room, that's the background. We have our video here, which is using a silhouette. And then we can change this and put an image over it. This is actually an image over this, but I've cut out in Photoshop, I've cut out parts of it so that our video and our monitor will show. And you could, I don't know, for some reason you could have this cut out as well, right? Does that make sense? So that is a um, PNG file that sits above, but that's still just three elements. You either have an image plus yourself here, plus you have the room in the background. Okay, so I hope that was at least a little bit useful. So in this case here, I just have my room, which is the image here of Star Trek Bridge with the guys looking at the monitor. I, my video is, um, has a, a silhouette feature turned on so you can see the background. And I look maybe, you know, there's a little haloing there, but that's okay because it's sort of, you know, spacey. And then I have the image right here, which this is the image that I could move around different parts of the screen. Uh, here, same thing, but um, using the type feature, text feature inside. Mm -hmm. And there are different uh, features. This one kind of works here with Star Trek Day. Uh, here, there is no silhouette feature, and you know if you look, if you have situations where you have a 16 by 9 or any kind of box area in an image, you could put yourself in as a sort of a uh, monitor. In this case, it's the same of effect. Of course, it raises the question of why I'm outside and with a microphone, and we'll fix that in post. And how can I breathe? But anyway, I'm out here outside the bridge. <laughs> Everyone inside is frozen. Now, in this case. In this image, same same effect, but in this one, I can actually move around because in the other ones, I couldn't move around, but in this case, I'm actually, uh, this is actually not a, a room. There is a room behind it, but in this case, I can kind of go around. I can say, Sulu, Sulu, what's wrong? Uhura, are you okay? Right, I can go to different parts of, of, the, uh, of the image, like I'm really outside, right? Hey, help! help oh, i'm gone you get the idea now in this case the it doesn't really work i mean it's okay but the orientation is a little bit off right so i couldn't that's why i couldn't uh, put my image in there and and line it up right to give the illusion that i'm actually in the screen so in this case it's another time i think to use a alpha channel or an image with an alpha channel so in this case i did it this way now, how do i do this so what's going on here is that this image that you see is actually the room um that's the room right and then i have my video but on top of that i have the same image but with part of it cut out with the 
part of the screen is cut out. So it has a mask. So it gives you, then I can come through and I can go to any parts and I don't come out of the screen, right? So there's a image with an alpha channel, a little hole in it. Then there's me and then there's the room below that. So you can think about ways. Now, the point is not that you should make all your presentations using Star Trek or that kind of thing, but just think of ways you could, you know, present while putting yourself in different parts of different images, not all the time, but from time to time when it makes sense to do so. Uh, you could also use the circle image in this case, right? I could come out, they want to talk to the captain. Oh, here I am. All right, you must bend to my will or I will come into the ship. Ah! Wait, how do they do that? He's back in now. Oh, here's another one. There's just the room and I'm in here and we don't have an image and instead this monitor is another camera. So I have this camera, which is recording me, but there's another camera. So the other camera is the image. So you could do something like this where I'm, I'm inside the bridge and I'll go, George, George, there's something outside. Look, oh my, it's some sort of dinosaur space monster. Not really, it's a, it's a puppet right there. Anyway, so think about ways you could use a second monitor. Yeah, I was asked to say uh, a greeting to Star Trek nerds out there to say happy Star Trek day. Uh, but remember, you are not a Jedi yet. Actually, you'll never be a, you'll never be a Jedi. Yeah, so be it. Okay, so the way I did that, the, <laughs> the way I did that is the same, same thing, right? It's just a, you can kind of see the three layers here. So you have the room, which is behind me, and then you have my video, and I don't need this, I can't use the silhouette function. I don't need it in this case, because I have this image over here is over me, and in Photoshop, or you could use GIMP as well, I just took out the eyes and around the mouth and so on. Conan O'Brien did something like this with Bill Clinton in the, in the 90s, I think. So, I mean, it's pretty lame, it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to look real, it's supposed to be a little bit lame. That's part of the, uh, the effect. So be it. You gotta get your, you gotta line it up though, right? Uh, anyway. Anyway, I hope this wasn't completely useless. So <laughs> this may raise some questions. Um, you might think this way. This isn't very presentation zen. This seems like very presentation distraction. But the point is not to do this all the time in your presentation. But I just wanted to challenge you to think differently and think about ways you can use mm hmm to, you know, to really engage your audience and uh, change the flow and the pace. And you can do a lot of different things uh, that you couldn't do in a face-to-face -face presentation. So we're just... It's still early days. We're just getting going on this, but I think the future looks pretty bright for doing these kinds of presentations using a virtual camera with apps like Microsoft Teams and um, and Zoom, of course. All right, it's very cold out here. It's like, woo, it's cold, it's cold, and I gotta go, goodbye.